Hello guys, is it just me or did today the market take a giant crapper? It's red all over, but remember, like all, uh, like all things bad, this will also end. Because everything that comes down must also come back up. But today I want to talk to you about a company that I think that it's being massively overlooked in the market right now. The company is Rolls Royce, but not the kind that first comes to your mind. The, the auto part of the business was actually sold years ago to BMW and now Rolls Royce is mainly manufacturing uh, airplane, airplane engines and uh, engines for submarines and ships. They're actually a multi-billion dollar company, but they are listed on the OTC markets. Before we dive in, if you enjoy watching my videos, show me some love down below, subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment. Despite the market sell-off in the last two weeks, this, this uh, stock price was actually rising until today, uh, today it, it, um, it sold off with the rest of the market, it finished the day off about 7%. This company is showing a rebound on its charts. It shows that it's kind of hit the bottom and that it's ready to take off. Now, the company does not come without without its problems. It has massive debt, it was struggling even before the pandemic and now there are some experts are saying that the airplane production capacity will reach pre-pandemic levels only uh, until the year of 2025, meaning there are still some years of pain ahead. But if air travel returns or rebounds faster that, than previously thought, that means that also airplane industry will have to scale production faster. That means that they could be a massively overlooked rebound play for the aviation industry. While Boeing and others have already recovered some of their losses for uh, uh, during the pandemic, this company is still sitting at the bottom. And while the civil, industry, civil aircraft industry is at a standstill, milit military contracts are still flying in. Just recently, in the last month, uh, Rolls-Royce secured two new, two new military, military contracts uh, with value of 170 million. This is only for the aircraft business. They have also other venues of military contracts, including, including submarines and ship engines, meaning more, more military contracts could be coming in and providing the company with a lifeline. Just recently, in October 2020, they have been they received a 2.6 billion dollars in financing which will help them survive this crisis and find new footing in the meanwhile this is just the start of future catalysts that could provide growth for this stock the most important two ones are just coming up the first one is uh, Rolls-Royce and UK Space Agency started developing or researching, should we say, nuclear power options for space travel. Space travel will be a big factor in the coming years and Rolls-Royce is already positioning itself for that future. They have started developing, they have started looking into it, and it means that they are looking into what their future will hold. 
The next one, also looking into the future, is they have started developing next generation engines for Virgin Galactic. Those engines are superb or will be superb because they will have to give the airplanes Mach 3 speed and will have to will will have to allow airplanes to go up to six, uh, six, 60 kilometers uh, into into the air but it doesn't stop there with this company they have also just recently uh, finished testing all electric airplane which will be the the world's fastest when it's uh, gone airborne <clears throat> this is the list of catalysts that the company is looking for and what the, the future holds for this company <clears throat> and while it doesn't come without it it's dangerous the potential is still here for this company if we look at the daily charts if now if you look at the monthly chart we see that the company has been in a downtrend for the last two years going from 15 dollars to one dollar and 30 cent and while the monthly chart is still not showing a rebound on the daily chart we can see that, uh, that the bottom was hit at one dollar and 30 cent and it is starting to curl up if this upward pressure will continue we will we will soon see a close above two dollars and sixty cent which will cause a gap up to three dollars and forty cent now like you said in the beginning this company has some issues but i think that the future catalysts provide much much more much 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 more upside than the downside is presented if this upward trend resumes we could see 10 or even 15 dollars in the next few years which will give us a nice 10x return on our investment this is a very long-term play but it could provide uh, returns of 100 percent or even more before one year before the year is over because this company is going to see more and more interest from investors because it is being overlooked and when a play is being overlooked that means that there is potential to make good money there so let me know down in the comments what do you think about Rolls Royce will they rebound from here or will they see bankruptcy or even worse I think that they will never see bankruptcy because they got a billion dollar name uh, and brand to them and they will do everything to support it and furthermore they are almost 100 years old company so they have weathered a few crises before bye